All right, folks, welcome to the Marshall Football Walk-On Dynasty. You know what it is. It's essentially a death penalty dynasty, and it's more along the lines of a prestige dynasty as well. So everyone pretty much knows the concept of the death penalty dynasty, but for those that don't, basically the entire team is cut, and you are left with nothing but walk-on players. And the prestige element of it is I am only allowing one and two star recruits to be added to the team for the first couple years. We will have an occasional couple three star players though. On accident, I have some friends and family that I put on the recruiting base. Uh, they're all in the 60s overall, so I figured they'd be two stars, but my dumb brain doesn't work and they made some of them three stars. All right, so here it is taking a look at our roster. All the way down the board here, it's going to be 40 to 50 overall players, so you can see I'm not playing. This is a complete team of walk-ons. It's going to be a long year, but these kids are going to make you proud by the end of it, I swear. And so basically, I'm doing this just for fun because uh, NCAA is, you know, one of the best games ever but also Marshall in real life is currently just on a losing streak and it just seems like it'll never end so we might as well get on here and be miserable in the virtual world. Coach what are your plans offensively and defensively going into the year? Well that is a interesting question offensively I've talked to all the guys screen plays are in the garbage wide receiver screen tunnel screen bubble screen smoke screen running back screen tight end screen all anything stupid that involves a screen pass is in the garbage if you see it here call for me to be fired it's understandable defensively coach newsberry newberry i'm still getting used to the names i don't really know everybody yet we'd ideally like to be running a lot of man coverage we don't really want to be running zone at all because if you're running zone, you might as well forfeit your season and give up and wait till you got guys you know that can run man coverage because a good quarterback will pick zone apart every day of the week and uh, we don't ever want to do that. But with our limitations and our situation we're in, it's looking like we're going to have to mix it around and kind of have a grab bag. Coach, what do you think your prospects are for bowl eligibility or competing for the conference title? Conference title, throw that in the garbage. Uh, that's not going to be happening. Sorry to break it to you like that. And as far as bowl eligibility goes, that's also kind of a pipe dream and it's honestly kind of irritating that you're asking me such a question, the situation we've been placed in. A whole new team, a lot of walk-ons, no. Just no and uh, honestly I didn't think I would be getting irritated this fast but that's going to be the end of this press conference. I'll see you on the field. I uh, probably won't see you after the game because this is irrelevant. All right, so here we go, right and jumping in straight to the abyss. We are an F, a, a D minus on defense. I'm actually shocked by that. So maybe we'll have a chance here, but I highly doubt it. Yeah, so we got a 25 defense and we are 21 overall. 88 wearing Randy Moss's jersey, trying to get the team pumped up. That I don't know about, especially as a walk on. It's very audacious. Evan Russell wearing Michael Vick's number? Okay, I see you. And as most of you know, starting out is not a treat. See, there's those quarterback accuracy sliders. Awful to see. Very early on, we got nothing. I'm hoping I can hit X. Oh my goodness, that was one of the worst throws I've ever seen. Three straight garbage throws, but hey, it's to be expected. Everyone get to the sideline. Let's regroup. Nice tackle by Washington, 57, the linebacker had to click onto him, or 52, I don't know. I can barely see, but that was um, a great individual effort. You know, we're not going to win this game, but this is the kind of stuff you like to see. Just That's good, what's going to keep us alive for this first season. I got to make the tackle, and I get just zagged to death. You see, we just couldn't execute there. We had the people, but... Our tackling is just piss poor. Get out there, somebody. Okay. You know, that one was my fault. But we're going to pretend it didn't happen. Our first completion to Steve Doyle. 
What a generic name for somebody wearing Randy Moss's number and the beautiful dreadlocks. All right, Rogers. Okay. Robbie Rogers. Another EA greatly designed play, but I'm, I'm liking this drive so far. All right, Vincent. Let's put on the moves. Nick Vincent. We are just hitting everybody on this drive. Just... Just spreading the wealth there. Finally, some good throws. It only took two drives, but we're starting to heat up. Now, you may be asking, why are you not running the ball more? Because when your O-line is this bad, that's all you got to look forward to is two yards. Most of the time, zero yards, so it's not a great play. I don't foresee us having a lot of time, so I'm going to scramble out like a lunatic here. Circle is open. Can we hit that? Oh, my goodness. Antoine Powers. I believe that's a tight end. Evan Russell. Looks like dog water to start this game, and he has come alive. The fact that he hit that throw, and the fact that I was brave enough to do something so brazen is just, just phenomenal. Great throw by number seven. That guy just put me on ice skates. I did the best I could though. That wasn't the worst coverage I've ever done. Going with the design quarterback run, maybe a broken play, but negative play. Marcus Stone, great TFL, good wrap up. Oh, nice drop. Holding him to a field goal here is a huge win. It might not seem like much. It might seem like I'm going for a moral victory, but I'll take anything. We're just getting to learn to love this team. All right, Powers, I see you working. Nice run. I'll take four yards, Terry. I'll take it every day of the week. Third and one, the quarterback sneak. Please get there, Russell. Oh, they'll never go out of style. Three yards off of that. Another thing I will say this, 0-1 trap. If you got a good team, this is one of the most deadly plays. Now, we can't block. Oh, okay, Rich. Five yards, six yards. Of, I don't know how we're doing this. Another beautiful throw. Powers has been the major weapon today. Rodgers again. Just hitting him in stride. I tell you what, that 5QB slider is tough. But once you get going, ain't nothing to it. Again, quarterback sneak. That's all you need. Daniel. Wow. Just the effort by Todd Daniel there, our fullback. So this is going to be a long year, but that effort right there is what goes notice. This is one of my favorite plays in the entire world, this mesh play, but there's nothing open. I'm going to have to hit X or try to. That was awful. I'm going to go ahead and try a play action here. Haven't tried one all game. We don't have a running threat, so it doesn't really make sense. I'm just going to launch this. And oh, Vincent couldn't hold on. And you may say go for it, but... I'm going to take the points here. Oh, I did not know his leg was that weak. I had no clue he was a left-footed, noodle-legged. Wow, and he's supposed to be like a 60 overall. Our best player. Gang tackle, boys. That's what you got to do. Hold him up long enough and let your team rally around you. Just stonewalled there. Who was it? Jerome Hagen, a white man named Jerome. You don't see that too often, but we got the running back cover. He's got nothing. A coverage sack, basically. Travis Martin eating up there. Third and five. We don't got much going. This play is a complete cluster, but squares open. Oh my God, I'm surfing on top of my O-lineman, and they called a timeout. Awful uh, execution there. I'm scared. Am I a complete lunatic for going for it here? Yes, but... Uh, just keep pressing square, that's all you gotta do. Can he make that throw? Yes! Tolbert! That was a gorgeous throw! Scrambling out, the way the pocket aligned. Can I make that throw? What? This man has a 61 accuracy and just pulled that off. I'm just a dot right there. Vincent, we just tied this game up. Can you believe it? It's against FCS, so this is not like the Super Bowl, but I'm still excited for the team. 
If you would have asked me at halftime, would we be tied up? I'd say no. Just ran right by him. That's my awfulness coming into play. Awful play calling by FCS Southeast. Just incredibly disgusting. I mean, you guys are just handing us this game. They are playing like just straight doo-doo today. These formations are awful. Beautiful sack. Martin, I love to see the effort again. Another dime to Daniel. Todd Daniel. In a bit of a pickle here, but Rogers on that left side. I don't want to cheese it because this is one of the cheesiest play. Okay, they got help over there. Oh. Okay, Evan. I, I pretty much have been relying on him too much. And I think he's just kind of out of juice a little bit. Oh no, this is not going to happen. Come on, punter. Bennett, you got to have some kind of speed here. Shh, number nine. A guy with little red wristbands on halfway down his sleeves. Like, that is the, like, number nine. Oh, God, I want to say awful things. Okay, Barr. Nice return. Lawrence Barr. I believe he's our safety. I wonder if this will work. Triple option. Oh, wow. I was trying to pitch it there, but I was scared. Oh, our first sack. I was trying to hit square, but it didn't break open fast enough. They sent a good blitz, I think. Uh, I, to be honest, I didn't see, but this will give us a good indication. Nope, just untouched. Wow. In a terrible situation here. I'm going to try to do this. That was dumb. That was very ignorant. All right, single high safety. Let's dot him up here. Can I make this throw? What on earth was that? All right, not to be alarmed. Let's see what we can do here. Triangle, I need you to break open. Yes, Tolbert. Tries to hit him with a spin. Not going to work, but I'll take 12 yards. That breaking ball. What a high point by Robert Rogers. RR. Yeah, just a dumb decision by me. There's probably somebody open. Um, I don't know if we're in field goal range, though. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Alright, this is definitely a game that we can win. It's more or less just my pitiful decision making in the pocket here. The non tackling doesn't help. Wide open. Just Willie Ford and all. Got to make a tackle here. We could not do anything. We got suction blocked. Matt Walker. Okay. All right. Fair enough, Southeast. Fair enough. Townsend. Good positivity. I'm just trying to stay positive. Another nice dump off. We're moving the ball a little bit. I'm proud. Looks left. Picked off. Yes, that was a dumb decision. I thought maybe you'd get tipped, worst case scenario. But yes, that's on me, and now we're getting shredded to pieces here. Dear God. Wide open. Yikes. Powers just runs him over. Hit him with that stiff arm, too. Not the stiff arm, but Antoine... Showing a lot of promise. He might crack a hundred. We just don't have the arm strength. I saw it too late. That one's on me. Nice quick little drag. Sending a blitz. I'm just strolling on out of here. My running back runs into me. And that'll do it. Wow. All right. Looks like that'll do it. Um, I will say I'm very proud of the team. Joseph Chapman was that dude's name. 
really a mid-performance for player of the game. You know, that was probably our only gimme game. First half was a beautifully executed dream, but second half, I definitely didn't help the scenario and we kind of fell apart in a lot of assets, but I saw a lot of good things. The receiving core looked phenomenal. Quick look at the stats here. Evan Russell, decent debut. 300 total yards, three interceptions, probably at least one to two of those were my fault. Just uh, my general awfulness, but a solid day for a guy that's 44 overall. Rushing wise, not much. Terry did what he could and uh, Townsend had a good one, but there's not a lot of lanes when you got a walk on O-line. Receiving wise, everyone really chipped in. I was happy with everyone. Antoine Powers that caught that touchdown though, just a beautiful game by him. Uh, Jeff Tolbert, Doyle, everyone, like I said, chipped in pretty well. Defensively, a lot of great things here. Hagen and Martin both with two TFLs, two sacks, and uh, everyone else kind of chipping in. See, I told you, 63 overall. That, that kick was wobbly. Scared me to death. All right, so yeah, in the next episode, I'll probably go into the recruiting a little more, kind of get a whole breakdown there. But for now, we're just going to get ready for Miami, the Red Hawks, one of my most hated teams. Not so much as of recently because they're not that good, but actually in 2023, they're a pretty solid team. Now, they're going to be better than FCS, obviously, so we might be in for a drubbing, but I think we got a shot to at least put up, I don't know, 14 points, 20 points. But yeah, if you got any suggestions, let me know in the comments, and uh, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, mercifully, the first game's over. We might have to simulate, you know, two or three games just because... I mean, sitting there getting your ass handed to you repeatedly isn't fun, but that will do it for this episode. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Have a fantastic day. I'm going to go eat some bagel bites.